Hello, I'm Princess Sally Acorn. We will talk about Asian nationalism, part 2. Part 2, the Chinese nationalism. Chinese nationalism is a form of nationalism in the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China which asserts that the Chinese people are a nation and promotes the cultural and national unity of all Chinese people. Chinese nationalism emerged in the late Qing dynasty in response to the humiliating defeat in the First Sino-Japanese War and the invasion and pillaging of Beijing by eight-nation alliance. In both cases, the aftermath forced China to pay financial reparations and grant special privileges to foreigners. The effects of World War I had continually shaped Chinese nationalism. After Imperial Japan was defeated in the Second World War, Chinese nationalism again gained tract as China recovered lost territories previously lost to Japan, including Manchuria and Taiwan. However, the Chinese Civil War, had resumed, damaging the image of a unified Chinese identity. Under Mao Zedong in 1949, the Chinese Communist Party began to employ Chinese nationalism as a political tool. Then the Chinese Communist Party began to suppress separatism and secessionist attitudes in Tibet and among the Uyghurs. Chinese nationalism as it emerged in the early 20th century was based on the experience of European nationalism, especially as viewed and interpreted by Sun Yat-sen. It was rooted in the long historic tradition of China as the center of the world, in which all other states were offshoots and owed some sort of deference. After the 1911 revolution, Sun Yat-sen established the Republic of China, the national flag of which contained five colors with each symbolizing a major racial ethnicity of China. This marked a shift from the earlier discourse of radical racism and assimilation of the non-Han groups to the political autonomy of the five races. So that's the story we heard about Asian nationalism, including Chinese nationalism. Like comment, and subscribe now.